Simon Bennett has sort of officially announced that he's going to be leaving Power Rangers after Cosmic Fury. Now, Simon Bennett is the executive producer, if you didn't know who he was. The real question I thought when I saw this was, is this a bad thing for Power Rangers? Is this going to be hard to recover from? or is it gonna be okay? And honestly, after really looking into it, I think the answer is yes and no for various reasons. Let me explain. Simon Bennett has been the executive producer on Dino Fury once and always, and now the upcoming Cosmic Fury season. But he started on Power Rangers directing episodes for Ninja Steel, Beast Morphers, and then several for Dino Fury. Simon Bennett is a very well accomplished director. He's done a lot of shows and has a lot of experiences. One of the shows he was a producer on was Madigan's Quest, which starred Rose McIvers and Olivia Tennant, both in RPM. Also, some of the directors on that show for the 13-episode run was Charlie Haskell and Peter Berger, both are people who have directed episodes of Power Rangers as well. He directed 23 episodes of Outrageous Fortune, but he was the executive producer on all 107 episodes of that show. And it starred Antonia Preble, who played Claire in Mystic Force, Siobhan Marshall, who was Void Queen. He directed 11 episodes of Mercy Peak, starring Sarah Wiseman, who played Arya in Dino Fury, Mariama Smith, who played Elsa in Dino Thunder, and Craig Parker, who voiced Motodrone and various other monsters back way back in Ninja Storm. Simon Bennett has said that that show was a two camera shoot and they used real film. So he had to film things very quickly and urgent because it costs so much more money to film that show when the film is going by. So he had to learn how to quickly talk to actors if he needed something to change. And it helped him kind of take away the long hours of directing very meticulously and not just letting the actors get on and do their job. That's something that definitely would be helpful when moving into Power Rangers because Power Rangers produces content very, very quickly. They film very fast and they try to get all their scenes in very quickly because they have so much to shoot. He's also directed various other shows, one or two episodes for different shows here and there. He produced 23 episodes of The Almighty Johnsons, which starred Emmett Skelton, who was Jax in Beast Morphers, Michelle Langstone, who was Cat Manx in SPD, and Jared Turner, of course, Void Knight in the current seasons. And then he had a very long stint being a producer of Shortland Street for 291 episodes. He did that all the way up until 2017, which is when he started on Ninja Steel. Shortland Street being a soap opera produces things very fast. Once again, something that has really helped Simon in his time as a producer on Power Rangers because he has had to turn over things very quickly all the way back on Shortland Street and now, of course, on Power Rangers. He accepted the head of drama at South Pacific Pictures. It's stated in a bio that he still partakes in theater work. He has a very long history of theater all the way back to when he graduated from the Toei uh, Wakari. <laughs> New Zealand Drama School back in 1988. Right after that, he went to Victoria University directing a production of Shakespeare's King Lear, which might be wrong, might not be how you pronounce it. I apologize. He helped establish the BATS Theater. He has lots of productions that he has done directing on in the theater. He also started the New Zealand Actor Company back in 2000, along with several other people, of course. And he co-wrote the book for Shortland Street, the musical, and he also directed that as well. He is the winner of several Chapman Trip Awards for his theater work. Now, Simon wasn't really well-versed in Power Rangers before he started directing for it, so he came completely new into the franchise, not really knowing much about it, which is completely understandable. Most of these people are directors in New Zealand, and of course, New Zealand did not air Power Rangers after, I think, the first season of Mighty Morphin, so most people in New Zealand don't know what the heck Power Rangers is besides the people who are in the acting world who all come on the show and take various side character parts, you know, week to week. Now, he did get to work with Chip Lynn, who was a longtime producer on Power Rangers. Chip started writing for Power Rangers back in Mighty Morphin, and then he also worked on VR Troopers, Turbo Space, Lost Galaxy, Lightspeed Rescue, and Time Force. He left the show at that point. I don't know the story of how he came back, but he returned for RPM, did Dino Charge, Ninja Steel, and Beast Morphers. And at that point, he left. And of course, Simon took over as executive producer. Are we screwed that we've lost Chip Lynn? Now we're losing Simon Bennett. But what did Simon say exactly? Well, he had a response to someone asking him a question. He said that the fandom was a minefield and that he was going to try to refrain himself a bit and just say that he's going to be leaving the franchise after 
Cosmic Fury. I'm just paraphrasing that real quickly. Are we in trouble? I have to say the first response is yes, we are in trouble. I mean, this is someone who's been involved with Power Rangers for only three seasons and one special. He's already showing a pretty big disdain for the fandom and the fact that he's saying it's a minefield. He's got to be careful what he says because... That's how people are. And over a year ago, he had a Twitter post that said, please stop commenting about Power Rangers on things that aren't related to Power Rangers because people tend to just jump on his Twitter feed, whether it's a picture of his family or just any random thing, and start saying, what about Power Rangers? What about this? What's going on in this season? Or I have an idea for the season. You have to listen to it when it has nothing to do with Power Rangers. And yeah, that is really rude. It is really annoying. And also the fact of he can't tell you any information. People are asking him to you know, spill the beans about things that are going on in Power Rangers, and that's just not going to happen. Honestly, the fandom, we need to be better about those things. We need to be more positive towards the people who are you know, producing the show, the people who are writing for the show, people who are working on the show, because they're the ones who ultimately are there season after season making this amazing show that we love so much. So don't harass them on Twitter. Don't harass them on the internet. You're only going to make things worse, and you're going to cause people like Simon Bennett, who is honestly a very uh, well-accomplished director and producer, you're causing him to want to leave the franchise. So let's not do that, okay? Let's be appreciative of who we have, and let's see whatever comes next. I think we're going to be okay, but let's not treat them poorly. Let's be nice to them as well. I don't know whether he has more opportunities coming up or if it was strictly because of fans he wants to leave. I just want to say, Simon, thank you so much for everything you've done for Power Rangers. I know that a lot of people view it as just a silly kid show, but from a, a real fan of Power Rangers, thank you so much for everything you've done. And I hope the best to you in your next adventure as a producer or a director or acting in the theater, whatever you want to do. I hope it goes well, and I hope you're happy. Are we screwed I don't think we're screwed. I think we're going to be okay as a fandom. You know, a lot of the fandom are becoming adults now. So some of those people who maybe are in the industry who could be a producer or a writer are fans of the show could possibly start working for Power Rangers. Now, I'm just going to throw it out there. I don't think this is probably happening, but Jackie Marchand, who was a big time uh, involved in Power Rangers, wrote for the show for years, helping produce all the way up to RPM. I've talked about her in other videos. When Hasbro took over Power Rangers, she made a post saying she would love to come back to Power Rangers. I think she really has a love for Power Rangers and this franchise. And it would be really cool to see them bring her back. I would love that. I don't think that's probably going to happen. Probably Alan Dale and Becca Barnes, are who are writers, they started off on Dino Charge. They did Ninja Seal, Beast Morphers, Dino Fury, and Once and Always. They also co-produced 22 episodes of Beast Morphers and helped produce 44 episodes of Dino Fury and co-produced Once and Always. I think they're probably going to move up into the executive producer position. Maybe not. I don't know. They might just bring someone else in who maybe has more experience as an executive producer, but they've been really close to this show. They did a great job, I think, writing Once and Always and working with the uh, returning cast members the the veterans you could say i think they've done a great job so i think we're definitely going to be in good hands i don't think we need to be too worried besides the fact that we need to treat these people better if you're jumping on there and you're harassing these people on twitter or on facebook or wherever you need to stop because you're going to turn people away from the franchise okay and they can't use our ideas i just made a fanfic sort of video called Purple Heart to Purple Heart. I know that's something that will never get made or put into Power Rangers because they can't take that directly what I just did and then turn it into a show because they could technically be sued for that. Of course, I would love if they made it and I would be more than happy to like sign anything to say it's totally okay with me, but it's better for them usually to just not even touch anything that a fan says or comes up with because they're going to be in trouble if they get caught, you know, doing something they shouldn't. I think we're going to be okay, guys. Be nice out there and may the power protect. So I was just about to upload this video when I saw the news that uh, Becca Barnes and Alwyn Dale are both leaving Power Rangers as well after Cosmic Fury. So that does put a little more concern in my mind about what's going on over there. Are people unhappy working on the show? Man, things keep popping up. I just don't have time to do a whole production for this, but apparently Power Rangers is going to leave New Zealand. At least that's what's being speculated. Uh, I can't find the actual article that people are talking about as far as uh, that information so let's make sure it does seem like 
pretty much everybody's confirming they're not going to be on Power Rangers anymore, so it would make sense if they are moving. This would be a really great thing for Power Rangers if it came back to the United States or to Canada nearby or something like that, because if we are going to start incorporating more of the older uh, Power Rangers into this, a lot of the people, even New Zealand actors at the time, now live in L.A., a lot of those people are in L.A., we could start seeing a lot more reunion episodes of people from the past. So whether it's true or not, we'll see. I'm not completely sure, but we'll find out. So thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.